Hyper beam cannon. Hyper Special beam hi cannon. Hi idiot. Hyper mode beam on. I'm trying to make a reference. Special beam cannon. Thank you. I'm a fire in my laser. I'll be right back. Also, I tested it out because uh, it said something about if you did a, uh, if you got gold on, like, uh, 150, I thought you said, uh, that you would get one for, uh, one uh, for 150 as well on the same, uh, Yeah, I thought, I thought so. I, tr I tried that out, it's not true. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I would just do unlock things, and since everything's kind of already unlocked in this game, except for cart parts. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can count cart parts as part of my 100% run. I just need to look up the. Uh... Well, that would be 100% of the unlocks. Yeah, like like 100% completion versus 100% unlocks. If you're doing a 100% run speed run. 100% Pokemon speed run. Oh my god! I mean, those exist. Probably only for Gen One though. Uh, I mean, they exist. You can't even 100% most of the games without, like, communicating with five other different games. Uh, they exist. <laughs> like, to legitimately 100%, like, Ruby and Sapphire, you also have to 100% Fire Relief Green, and either yeah. Emerald or Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Like, you have to 100% other okay. games just to 100% Ruby and Sapphire. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it would make sense if, like, I'm sure there's, like, liberties that are taken in the requirements for 100% run. If it's even a thing. But I'm pretty sure it's a thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I mean, thing. and for, I know for Gen 1, though, you can easily just have a emulate, you know, on an emulator that supports Link Play. Jeez. I'm actually starting to get more traffic on Mixer. Hmm. And if someone asks me how I'm playing Mario Kart and Xbox, I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> All right. I remember that one time uh, during the, uh, it was a uh, Breath of the Wild. I think uh, you were spinning Breath of the Wild and someone asked that, right? How am I laugh now? <laughs> it's not funny if you're doing, if I know you're doing it as a joke. It's not funny if it's a joke. Yeah, it's I funny. It's the purpose of the joke, <laughs> The Wii is progressing really well. I think it's pretty good now. Yeah, the Wii U. Yeah, you can, if you have two monitors, that's excellent for playing Star Fox Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to do that at some point. It's like, uh, PC right now is definitely the way to go for Breath of the Wilds, honestly. Because yeah. you can meme so hard with mods. <laughs> it's I hilarious. Know. I still enjoy playing on the Switch, though. Yeah, but like, would you, would you not rather be fighting Thomas? Um, Climb the Ganon is pretty good. Well, not like then, but like... Would you not rather have a world boss be Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> God, that would, that would, that's already kind of nightmare fuel to begin with. I mean, it's just like that Skyrim... It's just like the Skyrim mods that are really popular. You know what was generally scary the was the... Uh, dragons. The, the mod, yeah, the mod that replaced Ponies of Dragons. Or Dragons of Ponies, or whatever. I was thinking of the Thomas one, because that one's hilarious. Oh god, there's the My Little Pony one, and I think it said the... Hey, thank you for the follow, uh, Cosmic Oh! Colin. Then there's the one where it's, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> no, no mod horse. could compete with something you can already do in the game, and that's putting a bucket on an NPC's head to rob the blind. <laughs> I mean, that's just built into the game, and that is pretty damn hilarious. Also, some, something else I learned from watching a video talking about uh, AI was, uh, apparently, uh, Half-Life 2 NPCs have a serious if-you-don't-see-them-they-can't-see-you syndrome. Ah. So in his video, he recorded a clip of him sneaking up to a combine right in front of them by holding a can so it blocked the combine from their view. Oh my goodness. Yes, and threw the can at them and then shot them. That was hilarious. 
And his example says, and some, you know, sometimes it's no fun if you can just exploit the AI. Well, okay, sometimes it is. <laughs> this is more fun. Most of the time, you're not even going to notice that kind of stuff, so... Also, one thing that's kind of bizarre is characters that kind of acknowledge that they're in the game tend to feel more genuine. Mm. Like they're on your level. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of weird. To, to, like, make those sites that let you just upload an image and they'll just make your t-shirt. Assuming, yeah, yeah, yeah. pe assuming people will buy it. Like, I think one of them starts out where they just put it on hold until enough people buy it, then they immediately say, oh, hey, we're going to charge you now, and then if the people, everyone says yes, um, they just ship it out to everyone who, like, pre-ordered oh, it. Yes. If it meets the pre-order requirement. It's actually a pretty awesome deal. It just means that, you know, they'll make this shirt and people generally want the shirt. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Blaze Racketeer, for the, uh, follow. Yeah! Just for you, if you send me money. I'm like, yeah, I like, like it when Fiverr people... or something. <laughs> like, uh, oh, like Big Man Tyrone. Yeah, or something like that. In a world where people ride on go-karts. <laughs> All clothes. Only one Carter. Two brothers in a van. <laughs> Only one Go Carter will survive. <laughs> Friendships will be tested. Blue shells will be thrown. Shrooms will be smoked. <laughs> and you will eat my dust. Hyper beam cannon. Hyper beam hi 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 Hyper mode beam on. <laughs> Trying to make a reference. Special beam cannon. Thank you. I'm a fiery Malazor! I'll be right back. It's a me, <laughs> Mario! Mario is fiery Malazor! Quick <laughs> controller! I'm making people drop their controller! I, for some reason, I have like a, I have like a small table in front of me. I have like a, I have like my laptop on that and stuff, and I'll set up my mic, uh, yeah, and then I have just my setup of TV like right, like right, right behind that, <laughs> <sighs> and like I have like my TV remote, my phone sitting on the table, as well as like I always have like a, a cup there, or like a drink or anything, whatever, <laughs> and then like my mouse, whatever. But like if I have the sometimes the freaking my Xbox controller sitting there too. Uh. And so just like I knock that over, trying to put my headphones on for talking. <laughs> like no, <laughs> no, Chris. No, oh, you're like right behind me. Yep. Oh damn it! I was looking at my rear view cam too. I shouldn't have let you do that. Someone here's got gold Mario gold cart. Oh no, red shell. Shit, shit. Well, honestly, the only real hard part is spending time in uh, Andra. Yeah, which I kind of want to oh. do that anyway, just because I want to have a ghost, so if other people decide to race ghosts, I have a ghost there. This match was so slow, though. Why were we so slow? Yeah, that was 150, I guess, yeah. Feels weird going back to 100. Yeah, Ooh. Remember oh when that was God. a thing? Oh, no, I... never again. And you ever played on Yahoo Games? No. Oh, dude, that was like the best place to play board games with people online at the time. Huh. Yeah, like chess, backgammon, even like goldfish and battleship. Nice. Yeah, I know. Was, I mean, now there's now phone apps kind of do that better these days, but at the time. Yeah, like, uh, how old was it? Like the chess a, time is a great multiplayer chess game. Yeah, and the nice thing about chess, the mobile apps chess too, is you can just take your turn when you feel like it. Yeah. And play a chess game over the course of like weeks and months. Same with Wars of Friends too. That was actually, I want, I wish people kept playing that. That was a fun game just to check out once in a while. People's Facebook Tetris. Yeah. 
brush up on Puyo, which I never had skills for. Uh, you never played me in Beam Machine? No, man. <laughs> well, Puyo Puyo is like in a much improved version since then, because me and Beam Machine is like... Me and Beam Machine's old school Puyo before a lot of the quality of life improvements. Yeah. I am a two. It, it, I am a two thousand kid. I'm it's, a it, Y2K. It, 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 in fact, me and Beam Machine's like the equivalent of playing NES Tetris. Hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, NES Tetris isn't that. It isn't, it, that it, it isn't bad, but you don't. You're missing a lot of things like hold items and ghost blocks and things that make hold the game. Items. A, hold, hold. Sorry, hold blocks. I don't remember them adding items to Tetris. So you know what I mean when you can hold the Tetris blocks. Dude, I forgot all about you Tetris. Can hold him, Can you hold them in Puyo? Uh, only in Fusion. Which, you know, is the comp- is one I mean, of the like, comp- Puyo, Puyo Tetris, I mean. Tetris well, yeah, there. well, in Puyo Puyo in general, no, but there's a Fusion mode where you can hold the Puyos. Since you're playing both at the same time. Yeah. Though, I prefer- <laughs> I prefer Swap over Fusion, though, because Swap is, uh, hmm. you get every Poyo and I can use my Tetris ability to kind of make up for it a little bit while I'm still learning Poyo. Of... I know, I know someone that's actually, like, the opposite. Like, all he knows is Poyo, and he just, yeah. like, glides through based on Poyo skill. Yeah, well, that's most, most people in Japan are like that, I think. Because in Japan, they're generally pretty good at both, actually. Hmm. But Poyo Poyo is really popular in Japan. Oh yeah, it is. Like a lot of competitive and skill-based things are popular in Japan. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do more the end of the Mania calendar. Mayane. Mayane count. Oh, 